Hello, wonderful humans, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing as well as possible today, and I am just really excited to have you here. So today I wanted to kind of just play, take it easy. It's a very like chill vibes kind of day, and I wanted to do a really just natural, fun makeup look with you all today. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I haven't done a full face tutorial in a while, and there's a few things I wanted to kind of switch up or talk through with you all. So we're gonna do a full face of just like natural, glowy goodness. I already started by priming my face with the Bare Minerals Primetime Brightening Primer. I like to prime and then give it a few minutes so that the primer can really fully absorb into my skin. Just like you would with a moisturizer or other skincare product, you want to give it time to absorb into your skin. So for today's foundation, I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked. It's their weightless liquid foundation, and I am in the color 20 CP. I realized I haven't, I don't know if I've used this on the channel before, so I decided to switch it up. To blend this, I'm using that same tart foundation brush. It's just a dense fiber foundation brush. I really love this foundation brush. It blends things so smoothly. So one thing that I have changed recently is I was really, I've really been struggling with settling in my fine lines because fine lines are new to me so I didn't really know how to work with them and one of the things that I realized is that I was packing on way too much product so I'm really trying to avoid the under eye area and not get too much product there but otherwise just like I would with any other foundation I'm just gonna gently work this into the skin And then coming in with that beauty blender, um, I always just go ahead and make sure that everything is applied evenly. When you're doing a natural look, you really don't, you can really do whatever face makeup you want. So if you want to do a tinted moisturizer and that's it, great. If you want to do nothing, great. Um, if you want to do a full face, great. I personally feel like natural makeup is really about the eyes and what you do with your eye makeup. So. That's just my personal opinion. One of the other things that I have recently learned, as you guys may or may not know, you may be new to my channel if you are, hi. Um, I am not a professional makeup artist. I'm just somebody who really loves playing with makeup. So I'm constantly learning and I may tell, tell you something that's incorrect. And then I will try to correct myself if I learn something better or anything like that. I'm always learning. I'm always growing. So when, again, coming back to the fine lines, I was packing on that concealer and that's not a good application. So I'm working on less concealer and I'm not going to tell you which concealer I'm using because I don't like this concealer and I don't want to talk badly about it. So I have to make it work, but it's way too yellow for my complexion. It's, it's a fine concealer. It's just not the right shade match even a little bit um, but right, my concealer situation right now is kind of comical i have like three different concealers that i use so okay again this is another new technique i learned lots of new techniques today fun um so i just applied a little bit of that concealer on the inner corner and on the edge and then i'm taking generally you're going to want to use your ring finger but because of my neuropathy my ring finger is not strong enough, nor can I control this little sucker. So I use my middle finger, um, but you don't want to press too hard. And you're just going to gently tap that product into the skin, working to bring them together. So you're not smudging it, just tapping it into the skin ever so gently and as always you want to be so gentle on your skin and then I like to take my beauty blender or makeup sponge and finish blending it that way but oh my gosh has it made such a difference for me and I'm still struggling with fine lines but like 
I just, I don't look, I feel like I look like I aged 100 years this year. So I have to kind of just practice some self-compassion with that one. Um, okay, so now I'm coming in with a pretty vulgar um, undercover in the shade Little White Lies. And this is a super lightweight coverage concealer. And I like to use this guy just right along. So I'm not going under my eye, but because, so I'm avoiding going too close to under my eye, but because that's not quite the right shade, this kind of just helps even things out. At least I feel like it does, but I could be wrong. And then, I know, my, my concealer is ridiculous right now. I'm coming in with my third concealer, which is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is my favorite concealer ever. I am in the shade Hickory or Chicory. I know I'm saying that wrong. And I use this guy to really kind of just cover up any areas that I want to even out my complexion, my skin tone. So now I'm going to just go ahead and blend like usual. And as always with our sponges, we are not swiping, we are tapping. Gently tapping that product into the skin, allowing it to just kind of blend in. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to do step one of contouring. I have taken a step back with my contouring since my last like full face video, but I still do two steps. I kind of just had this moment where I had to make peace with the fact that I have put on weight, that, you know, this is what my face looks like right now. And it was getting to be where my contouring was feeling like it was coming from a place of hating myself and wanting to hide. Like my makeup was becoming a mask again. And I've worked really hard in my life to not have makeup be a mask and to not hide behind it. So I wanted to nip that in the bud before it became like a for real problem. So I start with, this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber, and I love this for cream contour. It's a more like, gray tone shade, and it's really, really nice. It's like a cool tone shade. It's really nice for the undertones that I have. It creates what I think is really nice shadow on my face. And then I'm gonna come in with a powder contour once we've finished all of our cream products. So. The next step is also Fenty Beauty Matchstick in this shade Trippin'. I use this like in every video. I don't have that many different products. Um, sorry, I don't have a lot of disposable income. I am unemployed due to disability, so I can't just like run out and buy whatever makeup I want. Um, I wish I could, but that's part of why you see a lot of repeat products on my channel. It's been kind of a nice and fun creative challenge because I have to make my products work for me. Um, and if there's a look I want to do or if there's a palette that's been released and I want to replicate a look, I have to kind of like think on the spot and make my products work. So there's me trying to find the benefit of not having enough money to buy makeup that I want. It's also why I'm the queen of samples. So speaking of samples, this is the Milk Makeup, I think it's their face and cheek thing in the shade work. Work it girl. And I just tap a little bit of this on. As usual, as I let my body heat up that so it'll blend better, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Amber, I mean Auburn. And I use this one to kind of create the shape of my eyebrows. Okay, and so then I'm coming in, and to just make sure everything looks even, I use the Group Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Brow Wiz. That one is so hard for me to say. And it's number three, I think that's the shade. Oh. So now I've given my face enough time to kind of warm up. I'm gonna blend this out. 
perfect. And now we're gonna come in with some setting powder. For my setting powder today, I'm gonna be using my favorite setting powder. I think I use it in like every video. It's the Becca Cosmetics Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It's very dirty, don't look at it. Um, I really like this one because it's not drying. I struggle with powder because I have such dry skin. Um, that I, I like that it's not, it's kind of like hydrating. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like a hydrating powder. Make that one make sense. But again, I have a really dry skin and I live in a dry climate, so I really don't need a lot of powder. I'm not an oily person. If, I, if you're oily, use powder. If you're not oily, you don't need it. It's kind of one of those. This is to remove excess. It's like a choose your own adventure. I feel like makeup is very much choose your own adventure. Or like accept your own adventure. <laughs> like this is the skin you have, so make it work. Now coming in with the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. Wow, that is a tongue twister for me today. Sorry. I'm going to be finishing my contour with the shade Desert. And the reason that I like to do this is it adds a little bit of warmth to my face because I don't use bronzer and because I don't, or because I use a very cool toned contour, I want to use a, something a little bit warmer just to warm up my face a little bit and give it some dimension and color. So using this angled brush and I'm, I, I, it, I just kind of have started applying a little bit less just not quite so, so much, but very similar technique. I did realize in my last video, and I'm really sorry about this, I was going back and forth. Don't do that. When you're using an angled brush, you're gonna have really patchy application. So go one direction, not like this. No, no, this, if that makes sense. So I apologize, again, like I said, I'm always learning and that's something that I knew. I just hadn't realized I was doing it until I saw myself doing it on camera and I was like, oh, that's wrong. Whoops. And I have started to kind of bring it up to my forehead a little bit more just to try to really even it out and give myself a warm, a nice warm look. I still do my chin, I just don't do as sharp of a line. I don't know, I just got kind of sick of hating myself and I was like, it is what it is, you've gained weight, you have a double chin, so deal with it. However, I do love the magic of makeup and I do love the fact that I can downplay parts of me that I don't like using correct makeup techniques or play up the parts that I do like. That's kind of one of my favorite things about makeup is it's you but better. Ah. Cool. Okay, so just making sure it's all blended. Okay, and I did already do blush. I'm gonna come in and do just like a little bit more blush before I highlight because I feel like I need just like teensiest bit more. So this is from Ciate London and it is their marbled light in the shade Halo. I really like it. So it has like a highlighter built in. It's kind of cool. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of this on. So not a lot. I just wanted a little bit. Coming back into the Tarte palette. I'm going to be playing with something that I recently learned and I believe I saw this on a Robert Welch video and he might have been like watching a James Charles video so like I don't know how many layers of credit I give but I, I this is not something that I discovered this is something I saw on the internet. I'm pretty sure credit goes to the one of those two people. Um, but so I'm coming back into the shade Desert, and this is going to make, which is the color I used here, and it's going to really just create this nice even look. So taking this rounded brush, it's a shadow brush, um, I have an 
no idea the name of it, sorry. My brushes are also random. I'm going to be carving out the shape here, but I'm gonna extend it a little bit into here and then flick it up to create a little bit um, more shape to my eye. And I've been practicing this. And the first time I did it, my nose looked really weird because I don't contour my nose and I realized that they both do. So I have to just be really mindful of that. But I'm going just back and forth, windshield wiper motions right in that crease area to build out some depth. And then I'm gonna take it and flick it up. Adding a little bit more product right at the crease. Ooh, that was a lot more than I meant to grab. Yeah, okay. So I got a little heavy handed, but that's okay. As you can see, based off of where I'm holding the brush, I'm really, really gently flicking. If I wanted to go in with more control, I'd hold closer, but I want it to just be a nice, gentle lift to the eye. Bringing that down. So yeah, I I I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of playing with this still to see. It's supposed to make your eye look more lifted. I'm not sure if it does or not yet. I'm not convinced. I've tried it a couple times. It could be a technique that I just need more practice with. I don't know. Oh my god, I didn't prime my eyes. I always forget to prime my eyes. Mickey tutorials would be so ashamed of me. It's a crime. I know, girl. I know. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Nothing too exciting to explain. Do do do. Okay, so now that I've built some depth, I'm actually going to take the same shade and I'm just going to come in and lay it on my lid real gentle in the light coat. Using the same shades is not only crazy convenient, but when you use the same shades on your eyes as you do on your face, it creates a very cohesive look. And I really like that. It creates this very natural, no makeup makeup. Your face just like kind of blends together really nicely. So I'm a fan of this, but do what makes you feel the best about yourself. So now that I've applied a little bit of that to the lids, very nicely diffused out. I'm just gonna come back in and add a little bit more depth to the crease. I'm just adding more product to make it darker in that transition area um, than my lid, and that's gonna create depth of the eye because where you have darkness is where you get depth, where you have light is where it comes forward. I believe if I said that backwards, sorry. Taking the small shadow brush by Sephora, I'm going to just tap it on the tip right into that palette and come right on the outer corner. We're going to just kind of accentuate that lift just about halfway. We're accentuating that lift. So from here, if you wanted to, I often really enjoy adding like a nice shimmer shadow or something like that on top, just on the lid. Um, sorry. But today I'm going to keep it super neutral, super simple. I, I am going to come in with a little bit of eyeliner just to give my eyes a little bit more pop. And today I'm using the CoverGirl Perfect Blend and this is in the brown black. And I'm just going to do a little bit on my um, waterline. I can never remember what it's called. And not a lot. Just like a little, a little, little bit. Light handed again. And see how that just adds a little bit. I don't know if you can see on the differences eye to eye. But it just creates like a little bit more openness to my eye. 
and don't go like all the way to the waterline or to the inner corner. And then tight lining underneath my lashes, which is just taking that liner pencil and going right underneath the lash line and just kind of going right underneath. And I feel like this makes my lashes look fuller. And I only go about halfway. Cool. So you can do any type of lining you want, but I'm keeping it super duper duper simple today. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some mascara. Um, as always, oh, oh my gosh, highlighter. I always forget my highlighter. First we're going to highlight and then we're going to do mascara. Okay, so today I am using the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Vanilla Quartz. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight, make things pop. And using a smaller brush, same highlighter, I'm going to highlight underneath my brow. Just a little bit on my inner corners and I really like highlighting the inner corner of my eye because I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more bright and open um, it's not a super heavy highlight and again it's the same highlighter that I used on my face so I'm going to be getting that nice just even application everything's gonna blend together really well and that's what we're going for. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara. And today I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is a sample I've been working my way through and it's about to dry out, so I wanna finish it up. Um, overall, this mascara is okay. It's very goopy. Like, the applicator gets goopy, the bottle gets really goopy. It kind of is a messy, Oh my god, I can't talk and do that at the same time. It's kind of a... Excuse you, bus. It's kind of a messy uh, mascara. Like it, it's kind of globby, gloopy. I don't know what the word is. But it's just kind of messy. It's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. Boom, baby. Okay. So that's the eye look. Okay, and so to finish up, I'm gonna come in and just do a really, really gentle, soft lip. I already have a little bit of lip balm on, and I wanna stay in the like brown neutrally shades. So I'm going to be using the Iconic London Plumping Lip Gloss, and this is in the like neutral shade. I can't read what it says on here. I, I don't know, it's there in like nude, neutral, nude, whatever. But if I apply just this, it makes my lips look like they don't exist. So I'm gonna start with the Steve Laurent. Uh, Steve Laurent, God. My mouth is made, is full of marbles. It's made of marbles, my mouth is full of them. I don't know what it's, my mouth is struggling. So um, Steve Laurent lip pencil shade chic. I could definitely use a sharpening, but let's let's not worry about it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is line uh, my lips with this. My brain is shutting down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line with this and fill it in a little bit, and then top it with the gloss. And I don't overline my lips. It looks weird when I do it. I've never found a way to do it well, so I don't. But if you do, no shade. Like makeup is a personal journey. I also really like my freckle right here and I don't want to overline and cover up my freckle. I've had that same freckle since I was like a kid and I've always really loved it. Okay. So now there's some color on my lips. I could leave it here. I could throw some lip balm on, anything like that. Again, we're going for super natural, glowy, just like chillin' vibes. But I am gonna come in with this Iconic London and just 
add a little bit more to the top, give it that extra pop. This is also a plumping gloss, which I like. Um, I have pretty small lips, so I like plumping glosses. If I can't afford a new palette, I definitely can't afford fillers, so um, yeah, I like to just kind of rock what my mama gave me. Boom. Simple as that. Easy peasy. Here is today's... Oh, I just knocked over curling iron. Luckily it wasn't turned on. Okay, so here's today's final look. Oh my god, no it's not. I forgot to set it. Okay. Here is today's final look. I really like this look. I think it's fun, it's fast, it's easy, and it's something that you can be creative with. If you want to add a bold lip, you can. If you want to do like a pop of color on your eyes, you can. But it's just super natural. This is a great like brunch look. It's great for just around the house, day to day. I really like this look. I'd love to hear what y'all think in the comments below. And yes, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me, to play with me, and to watch me practice these new techniques. I really enjoy it. I have so much fun, and I really appreciate you being here and just playing with me. So if you liked this video, if you like this look, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure to go ahead and do that. It's a free way that you can support me. Please and thank you. Very much appreciate you. So as always, my loves, please remember to always, always be kind to yourself, be kind to others, spread love, not hate, and compassion, not judgment. Wherever you are in this big, beautiful world of ours, I hope that you are staying safe and that you have a fabulous rest of your day or night. I look forward to playing with you again very soon. Sending love. Bye.